I'm sure that they're very angry uh, that she's not here. So it, I don't think anyone gains anything by it. We return to court one. Connors and Krishnan stayed on serve. No more breaks late into the second set. We rejoin action now in the 10th game. Connors leading one set to none. Connors indeed went five all and then broke. Krishnan went on to a 7 5 win in the first. Down the middle again for Connors. Certainly gets a lot of action for such a small, short, compact swing. Just swings through the ball. 30-15. Oh. Ooh. He was two points away from winning the first set. Same situation. 30 off. 4-5. Big point. <laughs> 55 advances by Krishnan in the two sets. That's somewhat surprising. Point for Krishnan. Krishnan playing well inside the baseline. Had to go back, but he was committed to down the line in his best shot of the day. Chance to square the match at a set apiece. has been approaching down the middle most of the day. This time he took a chance with the cross court and you can see why he hasn't used it very often. It opened that lane for Connors. Advantage Connors. Now game point for Connors. and hitting another line all seemed to be sliding outside but just caught the line and Connors twisting couldn't clear the net. Connors 
first serve percentage up to 69 percent. Jimmy Connors fighting off a set point for Krishnan. Second ball ace for his first ace. Anticipation by the 24 year old from Madras, India. He's come into good touch. The question is, how well will he compete? The top seeds has been eliminated. Pat Cash, the brilliant young Australian. The sixth seed knocked out by Akuna. Yep. Yeah, there's one of those net cords back for Connors. Christian had a couple in the first set. 6-4 in the fifth set. Akuna beats Cash. Akuna qualifier from Chile. But one of those strange cases, Pedro Cuna, of a clay court player who does much better on grass. Raised on clay, but he does have an affinity for grass. Good volley. <laughs> Meanwhile, Krishnan in a struggle in this 11th game at 5 all. The second deuce. Wendy Turnbull of Australia has advanced with a win, and Barbara Potter and Elise Bergen have also won today. It's long, and that doesn't please Connors, as you can see. Those are two talented left-handers you mentioned, Elise Bergen out of Baltimore. And the Connecticut player, Barbara Potter. Oh. Oh. Just out. Christian holds. 6-5, second set. To Connors and Krishnan. First, let's go to today's early big upset. Ricardo Acuna of Chile knocking out the number six seed, Pat Cash. Now, yesterday, before it rained in the fifth set, look at this effort by Acuna in the near court. It'll tell you how he authored such a major upset. Here it comes. Just moments ago, Acuna, fifth set, serving for the match, 5-4. And this is on court two, the haunted house, the jinx court of Wimbledon. Woo. A 
Acuna, who learned to serve in volley game at Northwestern Louisiana, a qualifier in this championship. Now match point. Rank 133. One of the big upsets of this 1985 Wimbledon, an ace for Acuna. He advances to the third round, the number six seed, Pat Cash of Australia, dismissed. Leading by a set, Jimmy Connors serving to force a tiebreaker in this second set. And Krishnan looking for a break to even the match. hook usually works. Lock 15. <laughs> Long low 30 and a crack now for Krishnan. Two points from taking the second set. Krishnan has been outstanding first serve, but he doesn't have a, quite the threatening serve of Connors. Who, despite the percentage, has served effectively today. Oh. This popular Indian player has three set points. Took that return on the rise and hit a dipper at Connors, and Jimmy was naked. saves one break point and you hear the excitement next door at center court Joe Dury once fifth in the world she slumped down into the 50s has rallied after losing the first set and defeats Claudia Cota Kilch a big win for Dury and for Great Britain meanwhile Ramis Krishnan with two more chances to win the second set first set is 15-40-5-6. And Krishnan has broken Connors, takes the set, answers with a 7-5 win in the second, and we're dead even. One set you saw an hour and 24 minutes of play. Krishnan will open the third set. And it's now a three set match. Fifteen block. That, by the way, was the first set that Connors has surrendered in this championship, breezing in straights in his two opening wins. the Connors hammer. 30 all. Correction. Ball was 
called out and corrected by the chair umpire. So they'll play a let. First serve. Repeated. See at Christian's end of the court, those seats primarily vacant. That's the uh, club members area. And of course, they were more or less <laughs> involved in the match next door with Joe Dury. Forty thirty. Thirty. It's long, and Christian wins the first game. Third set. They're even at a set apiece. First game. Third set. Through the first two sets. The statistics for winners and unforced errors certainly favoring Connors. Better marks in both, but each has a set. And Connors serving in the second game after Krishnan holds to open this third set. Connors waiting for some of the crowd that has moved undoubtedly from center court after the Joe Dury win over to this court one. into the net 78 times to Connors 38 a surprising statistic that he's been that busy I like the way Christian takes the ball on receiving very early. Steps right into the ball. He's making Connor supply all the power. Christian, very little effort. Bounces when he determines it's going to be a forehand. Just a short, easy stroke. 30 all. chance for Krishnan in this third game the third set second game chance to go up to love by Krishnan he breaks Connors and leads to love in the third set Krishnan leads two games to love third set Second double fault for Krishnan. Connors with three. And Connors with the only ace of the match. Huh. 
Christian like a pitcher that has just been given the lead by his teammates trying to hold that lead. Christian in one half volley, but this ball just grazes the net and slips through. Connor's in a pattern here in the last five, six games of consistently hitting the ball too long. And again, second serve. Definite lull for Connors in this match. Christian. 40, 30. Excellent touch now. I thought Connors might lob, but. 40, 30. The ground strokes of Connors set up the volley that will finish it. Rather weak forehand, and Jimmy is not going to let, let him live with that. Good run by Christian, but he really has no place to put the ball but on Connors' racket. Second serve. It's long and a break point for Connors. Now that's the lob I was looking for before because Christian's been getting quite close to the net, and Jimmy, who is an excellent lobber, hasn't tried that tactic. And another break, this time to Connors. He's back on serve, 2-1, third set. Krishnan leads two games to one, third set. On serve, a wow. set apiece, it's Connors Thank serving 1-2 after breaking back in the last game. sounds of this match are certainly quite in contrast. The grunting and groaning style of Connors and Krishnan. Total silence with his smooth gliding style. Not even heavy breathing. Double fall, number four. 15 all. Add a moan to Connor's grunts. Fifteen thirty. Connors wasn't expecting this either because in the past, Krishnan has hit behind him when he's made a move. So he was expecting the ball to come back there and instead it went the other way. 15-30. 30 all.
thirty. Connors off that forehand, which we'll see shortly. Christian approaches slightly off center, but it doesn't matter. Connors has the passing lane. Oh. Woo! Yeah, that's the second time we've seen Christian use that little touch forehand. And it's so nice to watch because he really looks out of this point, and yet, with a flick, Deuce. Oh. That's a shot that we've seen McEnroe use so magnificently throughout, again, this championship, that little flick oh. forehand. Oh. Jammer. Advantage, Connor. Maybe just watch the flashes a little bit. Come on, Denise. Please, can you not use flash photography underneath the stand there, please? It's very off-putting to the players. Thank you. Umpire Stephen Winyard. And I don't know why people use those flash cameras, because it doesn't help the photo. Okay, Colin. This match, even again, a set of piece and two all. Two games all, third set. Dick, when you spoke of Acuna upsetting Pat Cash, I believe I referred to him as Pedro. His name is Ricardo, but I'm hoping Pedro is his middle name. It is now. What a big win for Acuna and Chile. It's warming up, though. Knocking out Pat Cash. Succeeded Aussie. Last 15. This is one of the longer rallies of the match. Christian playing where he doesn't really like to pay well behind the baseline. He'd like to be in there to hit the ball more on the rise and Forced the play, get to the net, and he lost the point. Good recovery by Krishnan off the net board. 50 hole. reminds me but of a player that is still warming up for the match <laughs> so let's watch Ramish alone on this point moving in all the time as he strokes likes to be right where he is doesn't hit the overhead hard but his placement is excellent it's wide 30 all 30 all Meant by that comment, players warm up, and then a uh, Connors and a McEnroe, they put it in another gear, the game gear. Christian is just hitting the ball with the same flowing, easy style of his. Placid, but effective. Forty, thirty. Connors now realizes he's in a dogfight after losing that second set. Okay, Krishnan. And Krishnan holds. It's 3-2. Ramesh Krishnan in the third. Krishnan leads three games. Midsummer two, Tea Party. Seven. That's a Wimbledon tradition dating back before the turn of the century. And who better to share this special Wimbledon memory than venerable Bud Collins? Memories are brought to you by AT&T. In long-distance services, information systems, telephones, and computers, AT&T is the right choice. Uh, tennis and tea began to mix very well in the 1890s, a relatively new game, and it was a carefree Edwardian time. You had a broad, level lawn and lots of gardeners to keep it up and plenty of money, and so you invited your friends over to play this relatively new game of tennis. And it was a game in which 
the sexes could mix in broad daylight. Very vigorous game, and it was delightful. But for the women, well, perhaps a little more difficult because of those long skirts and voluminous underthings and whalebone corsets. But they went at it good-naturedly, and even in 1905, there was an American woman named Mae Sutton who won Wimbledon. She rolled up her sleeves, and people were very upset. They didn't think they should see May's nude elbows. And so a garden party mixing tennis, it was the thing to do. And then if it rained or the game was over, you went into the parlor. This apparently is the parlor of a tennis nut. All these knickknacks, curios, curiosities that were popular during a time when interior decor uh, was synonymous in some people's minds with clutter. But it was rather charming clutter, like this snappy paper clip. These are some of the memories that are preserved so charmingly in the Wimbledon Museum. And we're live. It's 25 minutes before 7. This is court one. And the number three seed in the women's draw is in trouble in the third set. Hanuman Likova in the far court against Diane from Holtz Balistrat, who's up a break, 4-3 serving in the third. We'll rejoin Jimmy Connors from his crew oh. later. 30 love. 30 love. Ballastrat with a good forehand down the line. You remember her as oh. Diane Fromholtz. Played Federation Cup for Australia, was one of the world's top players a few years ago, was married two years ago to Claude Ballastrat, and is beginning a comeback, Joanne. Is. And the thing that impresses me most about her game today is that she is hung in there. She broke right away in the second set, and Hana came back and won. And now she's hanging in again in the third set. Oh, great Ooh. return by Monlikova to go 30 all. Monlikova winning the second set 6-2 after Balistrat took the opener 6-4. We're at 4-3, 30 all in the deciding set. Live from Wimbledon on this Saturday. And a break point for Van Lekova will return to the Connors match shortly. We of course had a very busy day of tennis here at the All England Club. With all the rain delays during the course of the week, many of the top players performing, and we'll have all the results for you before we say goodbye this afternoon. The play continuing on all courts at this moment. And Manlikova breaks back. The number three seed fighting to stay in this championship. It's four all in the third. Four games all. In that last game, Hanna really picked her game up a notch. She hasn't played too well first couple of sets, sort of lackadaisical, and Diane has really dug in. And the thing is, she's not going to give up now, and we'll see that in this next game. 15 love. This girl with such enormous talent has puzzled many, so many predictions three years ago that this would be the next great player in the women's game and she just hasn't lived up to that potential at times has been outstanding some upset wins over Navratilova and then turns around and will lose an early round match in a tournament Who? 15 all. Meanwhile, adjacent to court one live at this moment, Martina Navratilova, one of the co number one seeds, along with Chris Everett Lloyd, is engaged in the second set with Patina Bungi. Bungi took Navratilova to a tiebreaker, won by the Navratilova, the defending champion, 7 6, and this is match point. We're live at center court. Oh. The jammer.
Matthews. Bangi, West German born, but uh, spends as much time, I guess, in the United States as any place now. Lived in South America, learned much of her tennis in her youth there. Another good serve. Well, she's the geographical wizard. German passport, born in Switzerland, raised in Peru, now lives in Monte Carlo, took tennis lessons in Texas, and spent much of her youth at Coral Gables, Florida. And now game point for Bungie. Ooh. This is the third round for Martina Navratilova. Two points away from advancing. And she would be one match ahead of Chris Everett Lloyd, who has played only two rounds and is scheduled next on Monday. That would give Martina an edge. And she'll need it, bud, with her activity in both doubles and mixed doubles. She's going to be busy in her own way next week because no doubles to speak of played this first week. Oh. Double fall to match point, the second match point for Martina. Bratilova, five times the champion here, the last three years in a row. She's trying for four in a row, last done in the late 1920s and 1930 by Helen Wills Moody, 55 years ago. Oh. There it is, Martina Navratilova, one of the co-number one seeds, has advanced through, defeating Bettina Bunge. Gave her a good test, 7-6, 6-3, and will return to the All England Club in Wimbledon right after these words from your local station. Live at court one at Wimbledon, Dick Enberg with Bud Collins and Joanne Russell. We last saw action. Hanuman Likova had broken Balistrat at four all, held service. And it's Balistrat trying to stay in the match and has. Tests have survived. And we'll check on the men's number three, Jimmy Connors, when we return to Wimbledon. Made two sets and rallied to win the final three. And Mayotte, the number 16 seed from the United States, is through to the next round. A big win for Tim Mayotte from Springfield, Massachusetts. Let's go back and find out how Jimmy Connors is doing. He has just broken Krishnan to go 4 5, and now it's Connors trying to save the match. Well, it's been a day of upsets already, and we're not, well, right at the 2 o'clock hour, England time. Bonnie Gadusik, the number nine seed, has been eliminated by Annie Smith from Dallas, Texas, and Trinity University. Oh. Pat Cash, knocked out by Ricardo Acuna, a qualifier. That's a big upset. Cash, the number six seed, and now it's Ramesh Krishnan trying to put the pressure on Connors. Krishnan served for the set and a 2-1 lead, but was broken, and now it's Connors at 4-5, 15 all. Connors took the first set 7-5, Krishnan back with a 7-5 second. Also an early upset on this Saturday was Joe Dury over at center court, eliminating Claudia Cota Kilch. Tough early start for the seeds on this Saturday. Wonderful anticipation again by Krishnan. And he's back to that old spot, two points from winning the set. Game point for Connors to go five all. Game ace, the 
second ace for Connors. Miss Krishnan twice in this third set was two points from moving up 2 1 in sets on Connors but no surprise Jimmy Connors scratching and battling and fighting is back to five all. Connors down the line when Krishna thought he was going to go cross court and the cross court wins it. Well, 15. Christian Bud, as you pointed out earlier, his approach is now getting the ball right down the middle at Connors, not giving him those angles. the net. I don't know. Both officials were looking this way at Christian. And the defensive lob just out. Connors went through with the overhead, but the point had been made, and it's a break point now for Connors. Connors so close to losing the point by touching the net with his left foot. In an inordinate number of net cords with this net. Krishnan, Jimmy is slipping already. He somehow kept himself going, but the balance had been lost. Couldn't be closer. Set a piece, five all, and deuce. Did he get the line? Yes. Watch it again. He's going for as good an angle as you can find. Oh, yes. Second break point for Connors. Christian, who was serving for the set at 5-3. And now it's Connors a point away from a break and a 6-5 lead. Now, Krish threw in a very tough second serve. He took a chance there. Whoops. Advantage Connors. His third break point.
Deuce. This game could decide the match. It's certainly going to decide the set for Krish, I think. For the fourth time, Connors with a break. Point away from a 6-5 lead, a set apiece. Ooh. There it is. Connors breaks. What a rally by the veteran Jimmy Connors. He leads 6-5 in the third. Game Connors. Serving for the set after being down 5-3 and Christian serving to go up two sets to one. 15 On oh, a crucial passage of the match as we saw there with Christian leading 5-3. This is when James Scott Connors gets very hard nosed. Big serve 30 love two points from the set. Krishnan has never beaten him, and Jimmy wants to keep it that way. Three set points for Connors. Seven five, and Connors leads two sets to one. Connors leads by two. Christian with a great chance to take a two sets to one lead himself, and things are much more sober in the Christian box. Well, it's sober. There's no doubt about that emotionally, but you can never tell from their expressions, the entire family, who's winning or who's losing. We did have a shot, however, but at five three, Christian serving for the set. He saw both Mama and Papa with a clenched fist giving him a little mm. urge. It wasn't there. Connor's too tough. Last 30. Cheap net court points today on that net. Love 40. Connors will take it and with it, three chances to break Krishna and open this fourth set. Game and he has done that with a love game. Connors with a two set Red to one game. lead and an early break in the fourth. Connors leads by two sets. And our thanks to Vic Braden. It's good to have him with us again at Wimbledon 1985. And we'll return to Jimmy Connors from S. Krishnan right after these words. Connors. Seven straight games for the 32-year-old two-time Wimbledon right, champion. Please, ladies and gentlemen. And now very much Thank in you. command in this fourth set against Ramesh Krishnan of India. <laughs> Talking about the upsets, number six seed, Pat Cash. Knocked out today, and another seat is in trouble. 15th seated Tomas Schmidt. 
15 club. Well, sometimes the seedings, when you talk about Schmidt, who's essentially a clay court player, you're not bothered. But Cash was a semifinalist here last year and losing to that Chilean, Ricardo Acuna. That was a stunner. Sammy G. Melva of Houston beat Schmidt in the first set today and leads 5-1 in the second. And this one had its moments. Jimmy Connors, a set apiece, was down 3-5. Krishnan serving for the set when he pulled things together and took the set 7-5 and now leads 3-love in the fourth. has given us a festival of shot making here. Brilliant touch. Put but a frame around that backhand, Bully. He's in with the old grinder, Jimmy Connors. He'll let you hit all the pretty shots you want, but when the crunch comes, he's the cruncher. out 30 all well talking about hard hitters chip Hooper whose game moves up on grass certainly has a big win today over Terry Moore to advance straight set win for Hooper a big server You were speaking of Lawrence Barnett Hooper the third. Yes, sir. He is a big guy, all right. Dude. Well, Connors would like to run this one out six love. He doesn't want Christian to break him and turn things. Ramish's way. Things are very smooth in the Connors camp at the moment. And it's getting darker, Dick. And you just don't enjoy being called off court to sit a couple of hours by rain when you're in a commanding, or any position for that matter, unless you're being beaten very badly, perhaps. What's your assessment of Connors? I'm picking Connors this match. Oh, I, oh, excuse me. I jumped the gun on you there. Just partner. assessment. <laughs> <laughs> the assessment is I think that it takes him a while to get going, particularly on a cold day. He's getting older, but when you go head to head with him and you threaten to take the bread out of his mouth, he's going to be very, very rough on you. Hit it over, boy. And his competitive verve has carried him a long way. Not that he's not a splendid stroke maker, he is. But the heart, which is about the size of a basketball, I think has been a leading factor in his success over the years. Krishnan trying to end that run of eight consecutive game wins for Connors. Down two breaks. He's got a lot of digging to do. Connor 
goes down and the point to Christian. And he's very obliging to all those courtside photographers. Carol Newsom, Steve Swirly, and you see what puts Connors down. He slides right out of it and onto his back. the stroke of doom that we've been seeing so many years that full-blooded backhand Sessions from Connors. None whatsoever. Wants to get it over. And he's really ripping the ball now and moving. That was three points previously. And he's down again. He's been down more than Pete Rose hits the dirt in Cincinnati. He likened uh, to Rose and his hustling style, Connors. And there's a, quite a facial resemblance, wouldn't you say? Yeah, the hairstyle. Yeah. Same sort of personalities. Fights in anything. Both are perseverers. Advantage Krishnan. Christian able to capture his first game in quite some time, but it's still Connors in command, 4-1 in Connors the fourth. Leads, four games to one. Connors, 4-1. Two games from his 71st Wimbledon singles victory, a record. Fifteen long. old expression on the locker room wall not the size of the dog in the fight the size of the fight in the dog Connor's picture right above it. That sign. What locker room is that in? Most everyone I've ever been <laughs> I in. I <laughs> see. It's not in the Wimbledon locker room, no, I'll tell you that. Not too much is. <laughs> no. Couple of pictures, couple of favorites. Just I mean. Leo, the wonderful locker room man. <laughs> not even a photograph of Fred Perry? I think there is. Fifty years ago, since the last British champion, Perry, who won three in a row. 
It's a long wait for these faithful fans. Reserve percentage really not important here. Connors has been the stronger server. has got it all. Now, you want to see this overhead that ends the point because it's right out of a little old lady's doubles game. Just decides I'll, uh, ah, we didn't see it, but he just punched it. Why wouldn't that be out of a little old man's doubles game? Because little old ladies usually hit that oh, shot better than little old man. <laughs> You're digging your way out better than Connors. <laughs> And in case you joined us late, Connors was down in the third set, a set apiece at 5-3 and Krishnan serving. But Jimmy Connors put on a patented rush. Best little old lady I ever saw hit a ball like that was Hazel Whiteman in Boston, Lady Tennis. Judged that drive, thought it would go long. He had to play. Christian with a break. <laughs> Quickly erased. His only chance to break Connors in this set. is one of the old timers now at 32 in this championship and the youngest Boris Becker the German 17. You don't very often see Jimmy Connors lose a point when he has a chance to utilize the sky hook, his patented smash, but Christian sent a backhand beyond his reach. And second break point in this game for Christian. We're at 4 1 in the fourth. Very nearly an ace. After the uh, match with Everendon, the New Zealander, played college tennis at the University of Arkansas. Jimmy complained he didn't have a chance to hit many balls. It was just serving volley and the point over. Well, he's had his opportunity today. Two chances for Krishnan to buy back one of those breaks are gone. Now, don't overpower it, Jimmy. Long. Advantage, Connors. Now it's Connors a point away from 5 1. Chris do this. Two, three, four, five, and right off the grass blades. Deuce. Advantage, Chris. 
Krishnan. Third break point for Krishnan in the game. Excellent return and Krishnan breaks Connors. Connors still leads 4 2. Connors leads four games to two, fourth set. Connors wasn't expecting such a good return, and although he had two game points in that game, he keeps Krishnan breathing. Amesh Krishnan. Two four in the fourth. His father in attendance, a semifinalist here at Wimbledon back in 1959, Ramanathan. His mother and family. And trying to put the bite back on Connors. His father could really play. He led India to the Davis Cup final in 1966. They lost it to Australia. That was in the power years of the Aussies. It certainly was. Emerson, Newcomb, Roach, Stolle. 30, 15. First time I saw his father play was in a Davis Cup match against Australia in Boston, 1959, against Rod Laver, who could play a little bit on grass. Krishnan just dazzled him. Laver said, I was waiting for him to wake up. He looked so droopy-eyed, and the match was over. Excellent approach by Connor is deep. 30 all. 30 all. And his father has been playing on the Grand Masters Tour, which is for past champions over the age of 45. There's Papa right there. Came into the screen for a moment. Oh. That's Getting the ball early and driving it down the line for a break point. Krishnan. 79, Wimbledon and French junior champion. Last year made it to the third round as he has this year. Lost to Kevin Curran and this year it's Connors in his way. Okay. And a double fault for the game, his fourth double fault, but more importantly, the game to Connors and now Jimmy Connors, when we return, will be serving to advance to the second week of 1985 Wimbledon. A rare occurrence in this first week of Wimbledon. No play interrupted today. Jimmy Connors. The thunderbolt playmaking of Connors has him one game away from a third round victory against a worthy opponent, Ramesh Krishnan. This for the match. Another double fault for Connors, his sixth. of the rain the defending champion John McEnroe will not play today because of his his opponent had not finished his second round match. so McEnroe 15, has to wait 30. to the second week and will have to play five matches next week to win that's a big load best of five set matches
34. Two points from the match. Jimmy Connors. point for the veteran. 40, 30. His 71st win here on these historic lawns. 7-5-5-7-7-5-6-2. Number three seed is through to the fourth round. It's been kind of quiet for Connors. He's gone unnoticed this first week just the way he likes it. He's played well enough, and he eliminates Krishnan today. Meanwhile, over at center court, the number two seed, Yvonne Lendl, was story later one man who stays for the fourth round Jimmy Connors but Connor Bud Collins had a chance to chat with him Jimmy you're down 5-2 in the third set what happened then well I think the first thing I did I went to a tighter racket change uh, rackets yeah and um, all my rackets were uh, strung at, at the same tension and with the weather over the past few days uh, a couple of my rackets went flat and I was struggling to uh, to time the ball properly and get the feel off my racket that I was looking for. And uh, once I went to a tighter racket, my whole game lifted. I started serving better. My uh, returns were a lot better. My passing shots were better. So uh, maybe that was good. Uh, now I uh, get my racket strung a little bit tighter than I would like them so that if it does stay like this uh, and they do drop, they'll be about Were you perfect. happy with that match? Well, it was good in a lot of ways. One, I got to hit a lot of balls, which uh, in my first two matches, I really didn't get to do. Um, uh, you feel you outgut this guy when it comes to a place like that? Well, I don't know if that's what it was, but I feel that uh, I was struggling through the first three sets and, and uh, to stay in there and to, to even have a chance to uh, to be in a match at, uh, instead of three sets of love down and, and the match is over. I've won the first set and still struggling along the way, but I felt that in the third set, once I went to the tighter racket, I, I, my whole game lifted. Uh, my confidence lifted as far as being able just to go ahead and hit my shots and, and, and get a little a response from the ball instead of just falling flat. So. And you're lifted into the next round. Thanks, Jimmy. Well, I appreciate it. <laughs> all right, Jimmy Connors is through to the fourth round. Some players are into the third round because of all the rain delays. It is confusing at this point. Well, it certainly is. This tournament is in disarray, but I think that uh, we may get some more.